Hi, I'm Bethany from Team 17. I'm here today with The Escapist, which is a fantastic um, indie prison escape game by a developer called Moldy Tooth Studios. Uh, so we're just starting out in the demo now today. Uh, so here we go. This is my guy is called Clive. Uh, he's in prison. We're not, not quite sure why. I'll leave you to your, your own devices to think of why he's in there. Um, so the aim of the game is obviously to ultimately escape. But you've obviously got to do that without arousing any suspicion from the guards or the other inmates. Um, so at the minute I'm doing my roll call. Um, if I don't do this, I'll get told off by the guards. So it's just about going about your daily routine whilst um, trying to get together the, the supplies that you'll need to start your escape plan. So in the demo, we'll, you'll be shown how to make um, a shovel to start on your escape through the soil uh, by digging out. And in the full game, there's like tons of different ways to get out as well. So you can go out through the vent system, um, you can go out through the walls. Um, there's tons of different kind of ways to get out and lots of different prisons in the full game as well. So here I'm having my breakfast. <laughs> So to get the stuff you need to get out of the game, um, you're going to need to either steal it from people or buy the supplies you need from people. Um, so here I am doing my job, which is a laundry job, and this will lend me some money I need to kind of start trading with people. So I'm just basically washing clothes now. And there's going to be a lot more different jobs in the, the full game as well. So there's like a woodwork job where you can make chairs. Um, there's a classic uh, license plate printing job as well in the metalwork job. So my job quote was filling up in the bottom corner there. If I don't do my job properly, I will get sacked. The uh, guards are not very forgiving. And you can also earn money by doing favours, which is like a quest system for uh, um, other prisoners. So it might be like a retweet, uh, retrieval, uh, retrieval quest, uh, where if someone's stolen something from them where you want to go get back, or if they want you to distract the guards drawing roll calls so they can go do something they shouldn't be doing. So, in the demo, we're just going to be showing how to craft a basic shovel in the game. Um, so I've got to start this by nicking some duct tape from my fellow prisoner. There we go. So, timber, metal sheet, some duct tape, and you've got your basic shovel. And we're going to store that for later on. Um, at the minute, if I go through any kind of metal detectors, I'll just set that off and instantly be... Uh, reprimanded for it. There we go. Filled up my job quota. I'm a pro. Doing it above and beyond the, the call of duty with his clothes washing. So in the main game, the crafting's a really big element. There's like a hundred different kind of unique items you can find in the game and most of them can be crafted into something. Um, so you can make like Two bed sheets will make a rope. Um, you can get a comb and a razor blade to make like a, a makeshift shiv. You can stack attacking some people. It's totally up to you. These are the prisoners as well. They'll be like a reputation system. So. Um, depending on how many kind of favours you do for them kind of affects your ranking with them and then you'll be able to trade different things off them. So it's in your best interest to kind of get them on your side to, to get the stuff you'll need to get out. So I'm in free period at the minute, so I can do what I want basically. Uh, as a library, if I read, then I'll improve my character's intelligence. Um, so all your character stats kind of go towards what jobs you can get. They unlock different ones. It's not the right button. Uh, so here's my character stats at the minute. Uh, if I want to, I can make him strip, which will just get him told off by people. The officers don't kind of like that. <laughs> Should probably get dressed. <laughs> But you can just totally play it your own way and have a have a good laugh with it. One of our favourite things to do in the office at the minute is just going and raiding people's uh, drawers and the desks, they're stealing all the valuables and then just flushing them down the toilet just to uh, trolley the prisoners. Because we're that kind of people at Team 17. <laughs> I like to have a bit of fun with it. Uh, 
can work out, make him stronger, make him be able to beat people up, as you do, might come in handy. And you can also improve his um, speed and stuff as well, so your character's got like um, like a health system and a fatigue system so you've got to make sure he's in top order because if you're trying to keep digging for too long you do need to rest him up as well so a bit more working out time so I'm still just going through the daily routine at the minute uh, the main game's really sandboxy, so you can kind of ignore to do this stuff, or you can keep it, or whatever. And it, it does take quite a long time to get all the stuff you need together to escape. This guy's getting buff. <laughs> For only life was this easy. <laughs> Uh, the prisoners, you can uh, view their kind of inventory, have a fight with them if you want to. Hopefully I've got a bit more. Oh no, not spent long enough in the gym. How embarrassing. So if you try and pick a fight with someone and you're a bit weak, you will get sent to the infirmary uh, to rest up. Telling me off, I should be getting my shower right now. Here we go. So over here there's like a jobs board where in the full game you'd be able to apply for different jobs. Uh, you've got your solitary. If you go through the metal detectors which are in front of most of the main doors um, with any kind of contraband on, it's not going to end well for you. But you can make a contraband pouch uh, and there's a lot of different things you can kind of craft to help you get around these things as well. Then out here are some more rooms where you'll be able to access once you've got these different jobs. So there's the uh, woodwork shop over here. And there should be a metal work shop at the top. Where you can see like, the license plate printing. So you'll be able to customize what kind of prison you start with and, and the name and stuff as well. So, talk to Dan. Dan's not interested. That's just as rude. Call me weak. I'm gonna go start a fight with him. I'm about Dan. Not getting away with that. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Working out help. So, final roll call, and then it's gonna put us into. What's the word? Uh lockdown for the night and we're going to start to, to dig out it's a motley crew okay so we can pick up the bed sheets and put them in front of the cell bars to make a bit of cover for us. Uh, then we're going to take the shovel we made earlier. And then we can start to dig out. So in the full game, now this is just one of the many methods of getting out and you'll also kind of have to manage it as well so you'll have to make um, craft wooden supports to stop the soil from caving in on you uh, you may encounter rocks on the way you'll have to change which way you go in and you've also got to kind of deal with the soil that you get as a result of digging out so whether that's going to your, your cellmates uh, selling using their toilet facilities to flush it uh, but just make sure you don't flood the toilet which can happen 
Let's go for freedom. Ah. <laughs> So that was The Escapist. Uh, it's coming to Xbox One uh, next year.